Hello, my name's Holly and welcome to Holly's Playground. Today we're going to be looking at our solar system. Behind me is our galaxy, the Milky Way. It has millions of stars. Yet zooming closer to see our star, the Sun. Whoa, Dad! Too bright. Back up a bit. Ooh, that was close. Yet zooming closer to see to see the inner solar system. This is our Sun. It is at the center of our solar system. The sun is a star. Just like stars you see looking up in the night sky. All of those thousands of twinkling dots. But this is ours and is much closer. The sun is only one AU from our planet. Don't sound much. But AU stands for astronomical unit. And it's equal to 150 million kilometers. Our sun is just average in the universe with billions just like it. But look at the solar flares that shoot out from its surface before being sucked back in, in a never ending battle of energy. Just beautiful. The planet closest to the sun is Mercury. It is the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury has no atmosphere so it is very hot during its day and freezing at night. The inner core of the planet is liquid unlike our Earth's solid core. Mercury is getting smaller. It has shrunk by 7 kilometers in in the last 4 million years. Mercury transits the sun in just 88 Earth days. It takes our planet 365 days. But it takes Mercury 59 of our days to, to rotate just once. Even though Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, it's, it is only the second hottest in our solar system. What's the hottest, you ask? It's Venus. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Venus is said to be the Earth's sister as it's about the same size and made of similar rocky stuff but that's where the likeness ends. It's a rocky hot planet that rains acid. Its surface is 464 degrees centigrade. That's hot as water boils at 99.98 degrees on Earth. Venus has the longest day in the whole solar system. 243 Earth days to rotate just once. It only takes 224.7 Earth days to transit the Sun. Its day is longer than its year. Think about that the next time you're sitting wishing for home time. It could be worse. Earth, our planet. You might know more stuff about Earth as it's where we come from. Earth has a moon that you can see in the night sky and sometimes during the day too. I'm going to tell you why we have a moon. Our moon is the result of a planet a bit smaller than Mars, crashing into the Earth when it was still a baby. 
About four billion years ago, our planet survived and ate the smaller planet. When it was full, it just left the rest, and over the next few million years, the leftovers trapped in the Earth's gravity reformed as the Moon. Mars. The red planet, but it's not. The red colour we see is just a thin layer of dust. It really is more a butterscotch colour. Mars has weak gravity. If you can jump up two feet on Earth, then on Mars you would go three times higher. Mars has the deepest canyon. Of the whole solar system, it is called Vale's Mar Inner S, and it is two thousand four hundred and eighty-five miles long. It is six miles deep. The Earth's Grand Canyon is only two hundred twenty-seven miles long, and just one mile deep. At its extremes, the scientists suggest that Mars was once just like our Earth, only that it was hit by several large objects, which devastated the planet and left it as we see today. Right now, we have seven robots traveling the Martian surface. They are Phoenix, Pathfinder, Curiosity, Opportunity, Spirit, Viking One, and Viking Two. Mars also has the largest known mountain in the solar system. Olympus Mons is a volcano that stands sixteen point eight miles high. Our tallest mountain, Everest, not the Paw Patrol pup, is only five point five miles high. Thank you. Thank you for adventuring with us through the inner solar solar system. Next time, next time, join us through the outer solar system, the big planets. I'm Hallie. This has been Hallie's Playground. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.